Without further ado, Coach Tressel, please come on up and introduce yourself. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Mike. I did, uh, I'm not very tall, I've been a <laughs> I did <coughs> refer to Coach as uh, Timmy, because uh, I remember back uh, when we were at Youngstown State, and uh, the winter of 93, yep. uh, recruiting Timmy to, uh, to Youngstown State. And, and uh, I know he's sitting on a little bit of pins and needles because uh, we've had a lot of fun with uh, uh, our time together. And, and uh, uh, I'll leave some of the stories for another time, like sometime when we have a championship banquet, come back and tell some of the funny stories, okay? But um, let me share with you why I think this is a special thing for Julie and Tim. I, I thought Timmy was going to be a good coach, but then I was convinced once he married Julie that he had a chance. <laughs> Prior to that, I was a little uncertain, but here, here's why I think this is an awesome situation. Timmy came to us in 1993. We won the national championship. We won the national championship in 1994. And we had a couple tough years. And he had a couple tough years. Knee surgeries and various positions. And, and uh, one thing about being in the competitive arena, when you have great tradition, like we had at Youngstown State and you have here <coughs> at Hoban, uh, it's a battle. People, when they get ready to play you, um, they know they're not just playing the team from that moment, but they're playing the historical team. And climbing to the top of the mountain is difficult. Then not being on the top of the mountain and trying to climb back up is really difficult. And Timmy was a part of climbing to the top, staying there for a couple years, being back down the bottom of the mountain, and uh, a little bit of that personally too with, I don't know how many knee injuries you had. Three surgeries. Three. I mean, he, he, uh, he thought he was a great quarterback. <laughs> I, I can't resist. <laughs> but he realized he was just going to become a great tight end. And, uh, but when we went into the 1997 season, we really felt like we wanted to climb back up that mountain. And it's difficult because everyone wanted to keep us down on the bottom of the mountain because they were tired of us being at the top of the mountain. And I looked at our senior class, and we had a good group. But as it turned out, only about seven or so ended up being starters. Timmy was one of them, but we had a bunch of guys that didn't end up being starters. And they had been there when we'd been at the top of the mountain and been there when we weren't quite as good, and, and they were passionate about us going back to the top. But what made that team in 1997 special was those seniors did help us go back and win the national championship. And I've been asked many times, what's the most important trait of the great teams that you've been around? And that team is the one I think of most often because that was the most unselfish group of young men I've ever seen. They'd play whatever position the team needed them to play. They'd do whatever the team needed them to do. They were out in the community doing whatever the community needed done. They were in the academy doing whatever was needed in school. They were just an unselfish group of kids. Perhaps the most unselfish group I've ever been around. Can you imagine having 25 seniors and only seven of them started? yet they're the greatest unselfish leaders 
that we'd ever had. And so I know what this school is built on. I know what your faith is built on. And it's on that unselfish love. And I can promise you, as far back as when he was 22 years old, he led it. He embodied it. He has taken it out now in, gosh, how long have you been coaching? 15, 18 years, something? It's getting old anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and wherever he's been, his programs have been about the team. They've been about doing the right things. They've been about being the best student you could possibly be, serving others. They've been about winning. He won't apologize for wanting to win. So to me it's so exciting because I've known about Hoban my whole life. I remember Donnie Swizzler's dad, for heaven's sakes, being a star here at Hoban. And then Donnie played for us and Leon and all the rest. And I know Timmy takes great pride in human being in Ralph. Ralph's part of the YSU family. And you know, when you're part of a family, whether it's Hoban or University of Akron or YSU, you're always a part of that family. And I know it's a, it's a real honor for Tim uh, to be following a wonderful human being and coach, uh, and Coach Ralph. And so you have a special person. I'm a little biased, <laughs> but I've seen him. I've seen him do it. And uh, I think you're in for a lot of fun times. He'll communicate. He'll stand strong to his principles. He'll make the tough decisions, and um, I think you'll enjoy every second with Timmy. But you'll like Julie even better. That's <laughs> <laughs> a promise. And welcome here to our home in Akron, Ohio, Coach Timmy Terrell. Very much, Coach. Um, first, I want to thank uh, Mr. Domedico, uh, Dr. Biting, and uh, Brother Ken for giving me this opportunity to be part of this family. Um, it is a great honor. I know a lot about uh, Hoban football. I played out on that field. I got smacked around by Leon Jones <laughs> in high school. Um, got beat up on it, and then was lucky enough to win my senior year out there. But I, I know what Hoban football is about. I know what, obviously, Catholic schools being from uh, Youngstown, Ohio, growing up from kindergarten all the way through uh, when I graduated high school being in Catholic schools, uh, my mom being a Catholic school teacher. Um, I truly believe in what Hoban believes in, uh, and that is the kid has to come first. And, and, and there's a right way to do things, and there's a wrong, wrong way. We're going to do it the right way. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. I'm going to ask a lot of everybody in this room and everybody with the school, but we're going to do it the right way. 